Come to my another session. In this session, I have to talk about the another type of female reproductive accessory gland. This is the breast. The breast, which also known as mammae, and this gland also known as mammary gland. This is known as the mammary gland. Such mammary gland. This is the modification of sweat gland. This mammary gland is regarded as the modification of sweat gland. Sweat gland. This is the sweat secreting gland. And the mammary gland. This is the milk secreting gland. A pair of mammary gland present in both sexes in human. That is the male and the female. In case of female, the gland is more prominent and developed because this gland contains alveoli. In case of male, there is no alveoli. That's why in case of male, the gland present in rudimentary form. Such gland, the mammary gland, developed at or after puberty by the action of estrogen and the progesterone hormone. Suppose that this is the pectoral muscle, such gland actually developed over the thorax in the pectoral muscle. Suppose that this is the pectoral muscles and this gland, it is the prominent in structure. This is the bulging rounded in structure and such gland, it has a central protuberance and such central protuberance which is pigmented and it is known as the nipple. Such nipple is surrounded by the pigmented, the nipple it is encircled by the pigmented area. Such pigmented area is known as areola. This is known as the areola. Such breast which is composed of 15 to 20 number of lobes and again each lobe is composed of several lobules. Each lobule contains the milk secreting alveoli, a cluster of alveoli present and such cluster of alveoli looks like the rounded cluster of grapes. Suppose that these are the milk secreting alveoli. Suppose that these are the milk secreting alveoli. This is the bunch of milk secreting alveoli and which forms the grape, the cluster of grape like structure which forms the cluster of grape like structure these are the milk secreting alveoli so these are the milk secreting alveoli such milk secreting alveoli which forms a cluster grape like rounded grape like cluster and all alveoli open into the milk secreting duct which is known as the lactiferous duct. This is the lactiferous duct. The lactiferous duct which drain the lobe, which drain the lobe. So there are 15 to 20 number of lobes. So there are 15 to 20 numbers of lactiferous Duct. So these are the milk secreting alveoli. These are the another, this is the another lactiferous duct. So this is another lactiferous duct and this is another lactiferous duct. All the lactiferous duct converge to the areola. And beneath the areola, such lactiferous duct which forms ampulla which forms ampulla or sinus. This is known as the lactiferous sinus or the ampulla which act as the temporary reservoir for milk. From ampulla or the sinus a small duct 
extends and open on the surface of the nipple. So this is another ampulla. This is another ampulla. So these ampulla are the sinus present below the or beneath the areola. And all the lactiferous duct open on the surface of the nipple. So the surface of nipple which contains about 15 to 20 number of pores or the opening of the lactiferous duct. Such bulging structure, such breast which is divided into 15 to 20 number of lobes. In between lobes, in between lobes, there are fibrous connective tissue. Suppose that this is one lobe and this is another lobe. So in between lobes, there are fibrous connective tissue and which forms the septa. So these are the these are the septa. So single is the septum. So this is the connective tissue septum. In between lobe of in between the lobe of the breast. And considerable amount of adipose tissue also present. So with the connective tissue a considerable amount of adipose tissue or the fat containing tissue present. The amount of adipose tissue which determine the size of the breast. So these are the adipose tissue or the fat containing tissue. These are the fat containing tissue which actually provide the considerable size of the breast. And such connective tissue, fibrous connective tissue, provide the mechanical strength to the breast. Such lactiferous dog, such lactiferous dog, it is made up of areolar connective tissue and which is lined by columnar epithelium. So the lactiferous dog, which is made up of Areolar connective tissue and it is lined by the columnar epithelium. So, such breast which is composed of 15 to 20 number of lobes, each lobe again composed of several lobules and each lobule it has so many number of alveoli. And these alveoli present like a rounded cluster of grapes and all the alveoli open into the lactiferous duct and a single lactiferous duct come out from the single lobe of the mammary gland. So these milk secreting alveoli, these milk secreting alveoli, actually this is the true mammary gland and the true milk secreting alveoli develop at the time of pregnancy. So and in between in between lobes there are septum and such septum is made up of the fibrous connective tissue. This is the nipple and such nipple it is the pigmented in structure. This is the pigmented in structure in case of virgin it is pinkish in color but at the time of pregnancy it becomes more pigmented or it becomes darkening. The base of the nipple which is provided with very small tuber like structure or the bumps like structure, painless gland, these are the sebaceous gland which secrete the oily material and keep the nipple and the areola lubricated and such gland is known as the Montgomery gland. These are the Montgomery gland. The production of pill which is known as the lactation. And lactation, it is initiated by the secretion of one hormone. This is the prolactin. The prolactin, such prolactin secreted from anterior pituitary gland. So, because of the action of prolactin, 
द सिक्रेशन ऑफ मिल्क और द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिल्क टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द एल्बोली ऑफ द मामारी ग्लांड एंड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ अनादर हॉर्मोन इज नोन एज ऑक्सीटोसिल which is secreted from posterior pituitary gland so by the action of oxytocin such milk which release to the outside that's why such oxytocin hormone this is known as the milk ejecting or milk secreting hormone and the prolactin this is the hormone which help for the production of milk or formation of milk inside the alveoli of mammary gland so there are two important hormone one is the prolactin which helps for the formation of milk or help for the lactation and another is the oxytocin which is known as the birth hormone and it is secreted at the time of birth and by the help of such oxytocin the milk is ejected outside that's why it is known as the milk ejecting hormone or the milk secreting hormone if you like then click on my another video regarding the composition of human milk or the breast milk